20 events across four days, many of them free and family friendly. The Taupo Winter Festival is set to be a must visit on our events calendar. To tell us more, please welcome to the cafe the event organiser, Nicola Carter, and great debate MC Shane Cortese. Welcome! Yes. Thank you. Yeah. It is fantastic to have you both here. So, Nicola, second year this has been running, and this is your baby. Yeah, came up with the concept um, a few years ago and found some awesome people in Taupo to help support me with that and got introduced to Kylie Hawker Green and yeah we put our heads together and went how come Taupo doesn't have an awesome winter festival and yeah and now it does no, and people love things to go to don't they yeah. like you know and the good thing is this is free for you know free fun family entertainment a lot of the time as well what can we expect if we head along yeah so that yeah the theme is yeah lots of free fun exactly said family things during the day so and then ticketed shows um, for adults in the evening so theatre and whiskey and jazz and the debate um, but during the day with the kids we've got 35 metre long ice slide um, do what for the kids are you sure yeah yeah <laughs> lots of parents <laughs> yeah. enjoy jumping on there too um, we have an inflatable um, snow globe coming this year which is has about 20 people in there at once the kids can get amongst the real snow that actually Mount Ropehua uh, bring down real snow each each day oh, for us awesome. uh, putting it in the snow globes they can jump in there and have snow oh, flights that sounds snow. like so much fun um, and then a light trail on during the evenings um, as well so from 5 till 10 every night the town's lit up um, Gosh, through the domain you with, have been yeah. busy yeah um, what's going on? Shane you this this is new for this festival this year isn't it the event that you are emceeing tell us a little bit about this it's a it's a great debate on um, <laughs> what, <laughs> <Yes>. provides, <laughs> what provides greater recognition to New Zealand? Is it our sports culture or is that our arts culture? Oh. So we have, uh, oh. I know, I know, it's, 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 that's a tough one. It is, it's, it's a, a good that, question. That, that is a tough so one. So you're not either for or against, you're oh, seeing it. I'm the mediator, I'm the, I'm the man in the middle, I couldn't make a decision, so I just stand and, and, and keep everything in order. <laughs> and do you know do you know who's being part of this great debate? Yes, yeah, on on uh, for the moot for the moot it, yes. uh, is is Laura Hill, my old sparring partner. Oh, I from, love Laura. Uh, yeah. From yeah. Most shows we've been in together. We've yes, played, everything. We've played siblings and lovers and stuff, so that'll be fun. Uh, James Griffin, all right, who's a who's a words maestro, yes. and uh, and Gary McCormick are for the culture side. Right. God help us. And, uh, for the sports. And the other side didn't get a word yeah. because I don't think so. I know, I know. And uh, sports, we've got uh, the, uh, the very beautiful Melly Robinson. Our, uh, Steve Gurney, if he's, uh, oh, yeah, he's, he's out, a, out oh, of hospital yes. in time. He likes to talk, doesn't he? Yeah. And, uh, and Darcy Watergrave from Radio Sports. Oh, so. crikey, OK. Oh, don't worry you about are in trouble. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm in trouble. You know, I'm just sitting in the middle and, you know, but and just, just, as I say, just mediate it. And I will treat those, those six people with exactly the same mediation skills as I treat my two young boys, my 10 and my 6 Good. Yep. Go and sit in the corner <laughs> yep. and wait until I There'll talk to you. There'll be no devices this evening, <laughs> <And> gentlemen. <laughs> no dessert for yeah. you. And there's extra broccoli on your plate, Mr Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> OK, yeah. so Nicola, you, yeah. you're the organiser, and yeah. part of this is, I would say, sport. Part of this is culture. So where do you sit <laughs> on this debate? <laughs> oh, can I sit in the middle as well? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She just wants to sell the tickets. OK, yeah. okay now, well, this sounds fascinating too. Well, so it's, you, big, it's, a, it's also a big cool. I think, yeah. I think even, even last week when we, we took home the America's Cup, right? On that day, Lord is number one mm. album in the States and Australia and, and Europe and stuff. So there's a cultural side. Yeah. On I the same choose. day, the sports side. I know the yachting there's was so good, Lord though, wasn't it? Lord of the it? Rings. There's the there's the there's, there's the All Black. It was good. It was oh, fantastic. It was so do you have to decide who the winner is, or is that done by you, Nicola, or have you no. got a different panel audience? How are you going to do we're that? We're going to put that to the audience. Oh, good. Yeah. So we're going to probably give them um, yeah a voting device, probably glow stick that they can then snap and vote for their favourite um, colour or team. So we'll hand them out just before the voting process, and yeah. I each wonder. I wonder if one of those teams is going to try and rig it. I bet you they do. Well, then yes. I choose. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, open to any. I know, we've got the mask yeah. here. Look out. That sounds fascinating. So that's just one aspect of some of the incredible things that are going on. You know, when you were lying in bed and you put together the first one in your head, and you Close thought, sticks. let's do yeah. this. <laughs> When you went to the second one, what did you want to improve on? What did you like from the first one that you wanted to build on? Yeah, we put um, yeah, the things that worked. It's great going into year two. We, we know what worked really well, like sell out whiskey and jazz evenings. Um, so we've repeated <laughs> that. Still, this sounds awesome. <laughs> sounds great, great. If you change the whiskey to rum, I'd be totally into that. <laughs> Next year, rum and retro. Oh, yes! <laughs> You're such a sailor. It writes itself, doesn't it? It writes itself. Um, and everything goes to the One Topol Trust. That's right, yeah, so we set up a trust 
Trust, which um, gives uh, proceeds back to the community, particularly for families who have to travel outside the region with sick children. Um, so we've got a hospital in Taupo, but often we're up in Starship if we have got the misfortune of having ill children. So, yeah, yeah nice to be able to give that back to the community. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, Shane, while you're here, we've got to touch on this West Side. So mm. that is starting series three very soon. July 10th, my birthday. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> See what? It's my birthday. Better write that. Write that down, yeah. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> quite, three times now. <laughs> does it get confusing? <laughs> You know, the character that you're playing, because, you know, we're shifting different generations. So does it get confusing? Look, um, when I very first went into Outrageous Fortune all of those years ago, 2000 and end of 2005, 2006, one of my first scenes was talking to Wolf in a bathroom about my father, Danny Peters, who yeah. he hung around with him. And, you know, he's a, he's a staunch Catholic and seven kids and uh, runs brothels and things like that. Hence, we ran Loretta's later on in, in the seasons. So, no, it wasn't, it wasn't confusing as such. It was quite... Um, this <laughs> we got a picture of you. Yeah, that's oh, uh, that's wow. me and my son Hayden. He's got lovely hair. Uh, that, of, course, of course, Hayden has lovely hair he and did. outrageous fortune. Yeah. That is extraordinary. Like, you would be hard pushed. You like Tom Cruise in Tropic Thundering it there because it would be, be hard pushed <laughs> to actually recognise you as you in that photo. Yeah, he's probably got a bit more coin than me, but um, <laughs> and a lot yeah, more. Yeah, but it was no going back into the West House was just a, a real kind of nostalgic time because it was a really important time in my life. Outrageous fortune. I met some wonderful people, yeah. some <laughs> some some great friends. Um, my first son was born during my time at. Uh, it outrageous, wow. and it was just a really fun uh, show to be in. So going back into that house where you know we'd, we'd filmed all those wonderful scenes together with, um, you know, with with Ted and, and stuff. Who's yeah, oh, now, yes. now gone, who was just wonderful times. And uh, to go back in there was was great. And, and of course, work, working in with Tony was special. We had you know that long relationship we had on Outrageous Fortune, and then I go back and and uh, and her and Danny, um, Rita and Danny. Were actually very good friends and good mates, and they got right. each other's humour, and there was that really nice sort of synergy synergy with that. As both Tony and I decided we we're going to go down that track. Well, I can't, I can't wait. wait. Yes, part of the New Zealand landscape, much like the Topol Winter Festival, becoming part of the New Zealand landscape now. So I'm um, so excited you both came in to tell us more about yeah. what's going on. You need to dress like that when you're doing the debate, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> nice. If you want to head along to the Malcolm Flowers Insurances Topol Winter Festival and the Great Lake Debate, all the details and tickets are available from topolwinterfestival.co.nz Thank you both very much guys for coming in. Thank you for having me.